Effectively Dealing with Sciatica Pain Have you been suffering from lower back pain lately that leaves you frustrated and causes disruption in your daily life? Maybe you're not aware, but it could be sciatica pain. Sciatic pain starts in the lower back and goes down your leg. This pain can travel to one leg at a time or sometimes both, depending on the compressed nerves. It occurs due to inflammation, irritation, compression, or pinching of a nerve in the lower back. A common reason is a slipped or herniated disc that creates pressure on the nerve root. The good news is that many people with sciatica pain get better with self-care treatments over time. In this video, we'll discuss how you should effectively deal with sciatica pain. But before that, you need to know the risk factors. Risk factors of sciatica pain. People have a greater chance of developing sciatica pain due to many reasons. Those individuals who had a previous injury to their lower back or spine and are part of an inactive lifestyle are at more risk. People who have osteoarthritis, a bone disease, or diabetes lack a strong core, have a job that requires heavy lifting, are overweight and have obesity, or have bad posture are also at a greater risk of developing sciatica pain. With all these risk factors discussed, let's move forward to some great ways to relieve sciatica pain. Avoid sitting for long periods and keep moving. If you don't feel too much pain, it's better to go for short walks or just a gentle stretch for a while, mainly trying to work out your lower back. But don't go for aggressive exercises. Also, avoid sitting for too long since it puts pressure on the ligaments and discs in the lower back. You should take frequent breaks if your job includes mostly sitting. In short, less sitting and more walking. Apply hot or ice packs. Initially, reduce the swelling and pain with ice packs. Apply a bag of frozen vegetables or ice packs wrapped in a towel. Make this part of your routine for 20 minutes, numerous times each day. After some days, use a heating pad or apply a hot pack for 20 minutes at a time. You should switch between ice and hot packs, which is better for sciatica pain relief. Keep your weight under control. Did you know that you have more chances of developing sciatica pain if you're overweight or obese? Moreover, overweight people with sciatica heal more slowly. This is because more weight puts extra pressure on the spine, resulting in herniated discs. Even a slight weight reduction should reduce pressure and inflammation of the spine. Stay stress-free. Sometimes your emotions and stress make your pain appear worse by causing the muscles to tense up. You should try cognitive behavioral therapy, in which you'll work with a mental health professional. The health expert will assist you in changing your thoughts and behavior. Physical therapy. Working with a physical therapist is often more helpful in treating sciatica pain. A physical therapist will tell you about exercises and stretching routines and will help improve your posture. With a good posture, you take the pressure off the sciatica nerve. When nothing works, unfortunately, the last option is surgery. This happens with almost 5-10% to of people having sciatica pain. If you have mild sciatica but feel pain after 3 months of exercising and taking medicine, your doctor might recommend surgery. We hope you learned something new from this video. Let us know about your views in the comments below and don't forget to share this video.